Mother Nature is giving us a gift here this weekend, and she's cranked up the heat off to the west of us. Bismarck hit a high of 102 degrees yesterday, while Vegas, Phoenix soaring to 110 degrees. We thought we were sweating, right? We've climbed into those 80s, upper 80s for a majority of us. In fact, Wapaka hit 90 degrees as we rang in September 1st. That is extremely rare. It's so rare. Now, we didn't break any records yesterday here into Green Bay that was 95 degrees but we were nestled in right in the middle of our average high and that record high temperature. Now this morning we're starting off warmer too anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees warmer in just 24 hours 70s into Green Bay Chicago Minneapolis all the way up to the border of Canada as well so we're not alone in this heat low to mid 60s into the Northwoods upper 60s to low 70s into the Fox Valley and Lakeshore plus those dew points that humidity from the deep south has made made its way here throughout the state of Wisconsin. So we're waking up to the dew points into the mid 60s. It is getting sticky. It's going to get more uncomfortable as we head throughout this afternoon to dew points nearing 70 degrees. Don't blame me. Blame the south winds. That's where it's coming from. As you can see all that hot and humid weather, it's breezy winds pushing it in from the south today. So we're going to climb high temperatures nearing those upper 80s to low 90s potentially once again today. A lot of sunshine to be had as you head out the door this morning. Don't forget those sunglasses, but you might want to throw the umbrella in the back of the car, especially if you're going to be out for the rest of this weekend. We have some rain starting to move into southern Wisconsin out of Iowa. That one's not going to hit us. This one is, though, up into Minnesota. We've got a cold front dropping through, putting us into a marginal risk for strong to severe storms throughout the Northwoods, Wapaka, Watoma area. Looks like it's going to weaken and turn into just some thunderstorm risk as it moves through the Fox Valley and Lakeshore. This will be tonight as this colder air mass sinking in from Canada slams into that hot and humid air that we have throughout our afternoon. So we are going to see these chances start to increase by the afternoon, but especially through the overnight hours where we could see gusts up to 60 miles per hour, some power outages and some heavy rainfall where we could see a quick half an inch of rain. So we're going to start off with increasing clouds, especially down to the south. We could see a pop up shower throughout 2 to 4 p.m. We clear on out. This is the front. The front pushes in after 10 p.m. to the north woods about midnight to 3 a.m. throughout the Fox Valley and into the lake shore before this clears on out of here. Now tomorrow morning you could be waking up to a few scattered showers and storms, especially down towards Fonza Lac. Uh, it's Homa, Sheboygan area, but behind this front, this is some interesting news. The winds are going to push out of the north. That's going to keep us in some fall like temperatures for Saturday and Sunday with highs into the 60s, lows dropping into the 40s. So if you're going to be camping out there this weekend, keep that in mind to grab the extra thick sleeping bag, some more hoodies or something, and look out for those northern lights too. We're going to have a KP index of six, so you might be able to see them. Please let me know if you do. Here we go through Sunday. You can see more sunshine headed our way. So a beautiful sunrise out there this morning. Sunsets at 727 this evening after we hit those high temperatures. Very hot and humid into those upper 80s. Tonight, showers and storms into the low 60s to upper 50s we go and by tomorrow fall like temperatures <gasps> highs only into the upper 60s maybe a few low 70s we try to bring the heat back for the rest of this weekend we'll finally get to the 80s again as we close out our unofficial end to summer and then we're going to hit those mid 80s once again as we cruise into next week but they're becoming far and few between so enjoy them while we have them yes definitely have to soak up the last bit of the summer heat and i want them to stay as long as possible i i agree but i'm excited for fall too so <laughs> i love this weather thank Thanks, Brittany. Still